Hi, my name is Darnell and I have three years in recovery. We forget just the basic and, and the simple things in life, such as to hang out, you know, with your dad, like call your dad and just be like, yo dad, you know, the Eagles are playing today. Do you want to go? Do you want to go watch them together and get some wings or something like that? Or, you know, just calling your mom and just telling your mom that you love her simply because, you know, it's your mom and she deserves to hear it. So those are like the little things you forget of in, in, in your active use. And those are just like some of the blessings of sobriety today. But there are so many other things, like so many other things. Like I'm, a, I'm in a position to help other people. So I'm the executive director and founder of a nonprofit organization here in Philadelphia. It's called Teach One, Feed One. Um, everything we do, we believe in eliminating the stigma attached with addiction and challenging the way that disease is approached. There's a real problem with the way that we view addiction as a society. I have a problem with that because addiction doesn't discriminate whether you're, you're, you're black, white, Asian, rich, poor, it, it really doesn't matter what you are, right? And being one in every seven Americans with the disease of addiction, that's not a choice. If people weren't to judge, addiction rates would go down. Then more people would be open to share with other people, you know, what they're going through. I just think there would be so much more education behind it. There would be so much more research and empathy and people just willing to help, people just willing to help.